like boxing fans, like I, some of them are the best, but some of some of them are the worst because they feel like if a fighter loses or something, like they got they washed up, they need to retire, and it's like, bro, what are y'all talking about? Like, really? You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't have a, you know, like nobody can't have a bad performance, and you know they got to be washed. If they have a bad performance, they got to be washed up. It don't make no sense. But you know, at the end of the day, I don't I don't really pay attention to none of that stuff. But it's just like it's crazy how people how people really think like that. But bro, anyway, you could have lost to Floyd. You're still going to be trash. <laughs> bro, everybody, bro, man, you go get, you are, you are retire, you this, like, bro, what, he's washed up, and bro, you, like, Muhammad Ali, how many losses did he had? How many losses Ray Robinson had? How many losses Duran had? How many losses Ray, Ray Leonard had? Like, bro, all these people had losses. Like, you know, I think that right now we're still in that, you know, people will still have that, like, Floyd Mayweather era to where, like, you can't lose and stuff. It's like, I don't know, it don't make sense, but you know that's 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 boxing. That's boxing for you. That's how it is. Mm -hmm. Um, you know we got a we got a fight coming up uh, tonight. Richardson Hitchens Lamos on the zone. Mm -hmm. What you thought? What you think about the fight? Obviously, Richardson Hitchens has always had lots of things to say about you. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that 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 matchup itself? I don't know nothing about who he's fighting, and I don't give a shit about Richardson Hitchens. But I don't care. Like I, I literally don't like. His fight was the pay. He said I was a bum. Cool, cool. cool. I'm a two. I'm a two time world champion. You can't be a bum being a two time world champion. And then you still went to distance with somebody that I stopped. But anyways, bro, I don't even care about no Hitchison, bro. That fight, his fight, was just just boring. You know, like he was just a he just a boring ass fighter. Just like he's just boring, like super boring. So I don't worry about nothing. Hitchison say good luck to you. And and for me, if he becomes a champion, I'll definitely go for his neck for sure. Mm. Oh, for That's sure, for sure. I'm not. Yeah, I'll definitely go for Hitchens, but you know, it's like right now, it's it's nothing there. You know, it's no money or it's no belt. So, yeah, I, I, it's it's nothing there. But if Richardson Hitchens actually picks up a belt one day, oh, for sure. Yeah, I'll definitely. I'll be calling him. Give me Hitchens and fight. But so, right now, it's, it's nothing. So I mean, his fight, this fight with Lemos is going to be for the IBF uh, final eliminator. Mm -hmm. um, do, do you think he'll? Uh, Go. I mean, he's he spoke upon the top, the ten pound hydration clause being a problem for him. Do you think that's an excuse of not wanting to fight uh, Subban Matias? Do you think that's really what it, that's his belief? And do you think he'll fight Subban Matias next if he so wins? What's the what, wait? What is the problem for him? He don't want go over the ten pounds. He doesn't. He doesn't feel good with the IBF uh, rules that they have for the hydration clause. The so he wants to go, He wants to go bigger. He wants to be bigger because he's naturally bigger guy, and he doesn't know. feel quote unquote good at that way. He did it one time, he didn't feel good. What's your thoughts on that? I mean, it's I guess it's a personal type of thing. You know, I wouldn't for me personally. I wouldn't want to just do the ten pound thing either. That'll be kind of you know, it's that's the same thing as cutting weight basically. You know, for the fight. So. Um, I don't think I would want to do that either, but at the same time, I don't know, bro. I don't know what Hitchens is going to do. And honestly, I really don't care, bro. <laughs> I don't care nothing about Hitchens, bro. It's just like, he just, uh, for me, Hitchens is like a nobody. Like, I literally just don't care at all. Mm. But if he does fight Subban Matias, you will be paying attention. Oh, if he fights, because he's fighting for the belt, for sure. If he fight, it don't matter who he fight for the belt, I'll pay attention. Yeah, for uh, if it's still, if Liam Power beat um, Matias, then if he fight him, then yeah, I'll definitely be paying attention. But as far as Hitchison's, I don't pay attention to him. Yeah, last time I spoke to him, he said, because I told him that, you know, you uh, you got rid of Cepeda. And he's like, hold on, Mill City, hold on. I don't know if you've seen it. He's like, hold on, Mill City, hold on. Mm -hmm. You know, he was hurt. And I guess his Cepeda's hand was caught on the ropes or something like that. Did you hear about it? Say something like that. Wait, with me or him? He's talking about your fight with Cepeda. He said that Cepeda wants to wants a rematch with you. He don't want a rematch with with Richardson Hitchens. Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I, I mean, he fought. I stopped him, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's I'm I'm past that. You know, and I—I I mean, I don't think that we'll ever fight again. I mean, I feel like I just—he just got, and that I want to fight that dude too. I told, I hit up match from like, bro, I fight the dude that stopped Zapata in the fifth round, uh, Dalton Dalton Smith. I said, shit, I, you know, I, that's a that's I think that'll be a big fight too because I know, you know, any I think a lot of fights with the UK fighters are big fights. So I think shit, I'll 
that's a that's another big fight too. I, I think that's what they're looking at. I think that's that might be your your fight, huh, Dalton Smith? Yeah, I would think so. Yeah, have, one of those. Have you know, yeah. You I and told him. I mean, I I think I saw. I I just saw an interview and um, Eddie said. I think. I saw the interview and Eddie and him was talking about that they'll fight me and stuff. And then he said he'll fight me. Obviously, I said I'll fight him because I said it first. As soon as he, as soon as it happened, and I didn't even watch the fight, but I um I saw the knockout. People text me all kind of shit all kind of, all the time. So somebody texted me the knockout. And I saw that and I was like, yeah, shit, let's let's do it. And then I watched him. I didn't know who he was, so I watched him. I was like, yeah, shit, we can do that. I'll fight Dalton Smith. So maybe they're trying to set that up. Mhm. Yeah, I see that. Um. What would you tell to the people, right, that believe that, you know what, Regis is all done. He's 35 years old, and he's mm -hmm. entering the gatekeeper status. What would you tell those people? Just keep watching. That's it. Just keep watching, bro. I did it. I've been here before. I did it already. I've been here before. I've been in, like, the boxing purgatory type of thing. I did it before. I lost my belt the first time, and people said, literally, bro, people say the same thing. They say the same thing before, so it's not, it's just, like, doing it all over again. And for me, I'll be honest with myself. If I if I feel like, damn, like, man, I can't do this no more, I'll, I'll you know, I'll be like, yeah, I can't do it no more. But I still feel super good. I still train every day. My body still feel good. So, you know. We'll see, but obviously that's always different from when you fight. So after the next fights and stuff like that, then we'll just see what happens. Right, right. You know that question was geared up to like I, I interviewed Ryan's dad, and he said, you know, what are the what are the things that are familiar with when it comes down to Devin's opponents, Regis, Loma, and Lenares? I said, I don't know, I don't know. He's like, oh. They're all 30, 30 plus years old and stuff like that. So that's why I asked that question. Like, you know, how is Regis feeling at this age right now in this time? Right. Man, it's crazy you saying that, bro. I don't even feel like when you saying this age, like, I'm, oh, I guess I am for 35. I think I am. I guess I am, bro. But I literally don't feel like that. Like, I still, like, I, I, it's just like, I, it's the, I'm still super motivated. I still train every single day. I'm always trained. I'm always doing something. And I don't have to do nothing, bro. I don't have to. If people don't know, I don't have to step in the ring no more for the rest of my life. I know, like, I know, I know. Super good, bro. I don't do, but I, I still love it. I still really, really love boxing. I still want to do it. I still train. That's why that question is so important. You know what I'm saying, Regis? Because you right, have right, touched right. a lot of money, bro. Right, right, right. That's what I'm saying. But you have to ask yourself. Like this is, it's still my passion. Like that's the thing, bro. Like this is still my passion. This is still what I want to do with my life. I still love the boxing. Like I still sacrifice. I still do that. Like I, you know, I'm in New Orleans right now, but you know, my stuff, a lot of my properties out here, but I still, most of the time I live in Texas, bro. And that's because I train every single day. And this is for me, this is what I want to do. Um, and I sacrifice being out there just to train every day, just to be around good fighters and just to train and, and spar with all these good fighters. So, yeah, this is something that I, I still want to do. And mentally, I still feel like I'm going to be a champion again. And, no, I mean, and, and of course, people will doubt you because, yeah, like my last fight, yeah, it was, you know, Devin just beat me easily. You know, he definitely beat me easily and stuff like that. You have to, and, and in this spot, you have to be honest with yourself. You can't never lie and and say, you know, um, uh, and make excuses. Nah, Devin beat me. That He beat me. That's it, you know. So I have to go back to the drawing board and, just just get back out there and, and shit. Get back on the, the, the trail of being a champion again. Mm.